Hello and welcome to today's MyMiniMaths.co.uk video tutorial. And today we're going to be rounding whole numbers to the nearest 10, 100 and 1000. And so on to question 1, which is 328. And we're going to round that to the nearest whole 10. Now if we take 328... And we're going to round that to the nearest 10. So if we take the nearest 10 coming backwards down to 320. And then going up to 330. And then if we take what comes halfway between 320 and 330. Well that's 325. And 328 is clearly over halfway. So it's closer to 330. The second way to look at this type of question when we're rounding to the nearest 10 is to look at the column next door and it's an 8. Now if the number is a 5, 6, 7, 8 or a 9 then we round the number up so the 20 becomes a 30 and then the preceding number just goes in there for a final answer of 330. If that number was 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, then the 2 would have stayed the same. The 20 would, would have remained a 20. And next we're on to question 2, which is 3,590. And we're rounding that to the nearest 100. Again, if we look at a number line and we write the number 3,590, we know that that comes between... 3,500 and 3,600 and you can see these whole 100s here. Now halfway between 3,500 and 3,600 is 3,550. The 3,590 is obviously over halfway so it's closest to 3,600. Again, the second way of looking at this, 3,590 is our original number. And we're going to round it to that nearest 100 again. Remember, we look next door. If it's a 5, 6, 7, 8 or a 9, then the number rounds up. So the 500 rounds up to 600. And then we bring the 3,000 down for a final answer of 3,600. And next we're on to question 3 which is 7,155, and we're going to round that to the nearest thousand. So, taking the number line, if we take the number 7,155, and we look at the nearest whole 1,000s closest to this number, so if we come down, it's going to be a whole 7,000, all the way up to a whole 8,000. And we can clearly see those whole thousands here. Now halfway between 7,000 and 8,000 is 7,500. Quite clearly 7,155 comes before halfway so it's closer to 7,000 when we round it up to the nearest thousand. And again looking at this using the second method if we're rounding to the nearest thousand again we look next door, it's a 1 for 100, therefore if it's a 0, 1, 2, 3 or a 4, then we keep the number the same, so it remains as 7,000. For a final answer of 7,000. And for our final question today, question 4, we're going to be rounding 4,035 to the nearest 10. Now, if we take the 35 here, Let's just look at that by itself. If I was to look at a number line and I was to take 35, that would come exactly between 30 and 40. Now, because it's a 5, it means we round up. Yes, it may be halfway, but we always round up when we have a 5. So the final answer for this question is 4,040. And again, looking at that the second way, just to confirm, we're going to round 4,035 
to the nearest 10. So we look next door and it's a five. And because it's a five, six, seven, eight, or a nine, the three rounds up to a 40. And then we put the preceding numbers in for a final answer of 4,040. Thank you very much for listening today and I look forward to speaking to you again soon. Take care.